French defense, Wenauer, Alekin Merchi Gambit, 4, DXE 45.3b76.nxe4 nf6. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players threw away some big opportunities in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. While preparing for d5, the French defense prevents the light squared bishop in favor of a strong center and opportunities for counterattacks. The center is fully controlled by d4 and the dark squared bishop is made available. The e4 pawn is threatened by the center counterattack on d5. NC3 defends the e4 pawn and pressures the d5 pawn. BB4 pins the knight on c3, preventing it from moving or protecting e4, and threatens to trade, disrupting white's pawns after bx c3. NE2 develops the knight to where it can recapture on c3 and avoid doubled pawns, but at the cost of blocking in the light squared bishop. DX e4 captures the e4 pawn and controls the d3 and f3 squares. A3 attacks the bishop on b4, forcing black to either capture the knight on c3 or retreat. b7 retreats the bishop to a central square. Nx e4 captures the pawn on e4 and places the knight on a center square where it controls many important squares. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e4 and prepares castling. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. It is the last book move. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent normally leads to a sharp, attacking game. It is best. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to concentrate a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is good. This misses a chance to advance a rook from its starting square. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It falls flat. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It falls flat. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. That's fine. It is good. That's an unfortunate error. It is a mistake. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The game was almost evenly matched, but white is now worse. It is incorrect. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. Thus, a pawn is lost. It is incorrect. This secures a pawn. It is ideal. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This misses a chance to trample a knight. It is incorrect. This loses material. This allows the opponent to capture the checking rook. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. This protects an underdefended knight that is under attack. This threatens to win a knight. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. A solid choice. It is excellent. That's a decent move. That's good. This misses an opportunity to win a pawn. This allows the opponent to capture the checking knight. It is a miss. It is a fair deal after all captures. 
it is ideal. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is ideal. This evades the check from the bishop. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to take an outpost with a bishop. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This causes material loss. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to win material. It is an inaccuracy. The checking bishop is moved away in this move. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a knight in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. This ignores a better way to add a defender to a vulnerable knight. It is a mistake. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. This enables the adversary to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. This permits the opponent to threaten checkmate. It is a mistake. This misses the chance to get a more equal position. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten checkmate. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a miss. This misses a better way to reveal an attack on a queen. It is a miss. This misses an opportunity to threaten checkmate. It is a mistake. When the queen retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. This threatens to fork pieces. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This moves the queen to safety. This threatens to win a rook. It is excellent. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This wins a knight. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Both players threw away some big opportunities in the middle game.